What's up guys, we're back with another video. Uh, it's Monday, uh, we got some bike work I need to do. I need to get this Yosh off of my 250, throw the stock pipe back on, take that wheel off, because that wheel's from the 450, put that back on the 450, take this wheel off, put it back on the 250. We also need to take the 450 to uh, Suzuki. We had a problem with the transmission. Um, it was hopping in and out of gear and getting hard to shift, so I decided to stop riding that before it blew it up or uh, caused any more damage. And then we need to get the plastic on the 250, oil change on the 250, check the clutch, possibly do a clutch on it. it feels good, but it's nothing like a fresh clutch. So um, yeah, let's get started. All right, so we got the wheel on the 450 off of the 250F. Which is, this was the 450 wheel anyway, but I didn't want to run a paddle the last time we were out at the track. So, got the 450 wheel on. I just want to show you guys this a little bit. Um, I see a lot of people put wrenches in their sprocket to kind of pull the wheel forward to uh, tighten it up. But uh, personally, I, I just like using a rag. Um, I don't know. To me, it's a little less harsh on the, on the sprocket. So, put a rag in there, wheel it backwards. Then... Uh, yeah, just kind of hold it right there and then uh, tighten it up. So, get this thing nice and tight. Nice and tight. Don't need to get too crazy with it. Just give it a good torque. Get your rag out of there. Sure, it spins on nice and free. You're good to go. All right, so before we put the wheel back on the 250, here's the off, so we're gonna need to clean that off a bit. But, uh, it's always a good idea to kind of get in here, clean all this stuff out. Um, just get all the dirt and grime out of there, both sides. See kind of a lot of dirt and stuff built up. So get this all cleaned up. Uh, get your axle clean, grease it up before you put your um, put your wheel back on. All right, so we got everything cleaned up. Axles, uh, cleaned up the spacer, um, got the axle all greased. I just put a thin layer on it. You don't need to go too crazy because when you slide it in there, it's a bit too much on it. It's going to push it all off anyway. But another little thing I like to do is uh, take some grease here. Some maximum grease or whatever grease you prefer get in there and then i also pack it in this little groove right here because this is where actually where your bearings are so um this just helps keep the bearing grease um keep water out of it and stuff when you're pressure washing your bike and um just keep your wheel a lot more fresh and um yeah Keep her in good shape so you're not blowing through your wheel bearings like there's no tomorrow. Alright, so we got the back wheel on. About to take this pipe off. Um, it's dented, but after I started it yesterday, there was a little bit of an exhaust leak coming out of there. So um, that's definitely not ideal. You guys want to check for those in your pipes. Um, definitely leads to a little loss in power. So... Uh, just gonna get this one off. I don't have another Yosh with me. My other one's on my race bike. So I'm just gonna put the stock exhaust back on this. And then uh, it's gonna be back to a completely stock Suzuki RMZ 250. Uh, the only thing I had done to this one is suspension obviously and uh, a pipe. So um, yeah, it'd be cool though to go back to the stock one and kind of kind of compare and see see how it feels. So yeah, let's get started on this. I already cracked these loose, so go easy on me. I don't run my bolts this loose. So I'll take the mafia off first. All right, I'm going to need you to come back to this because I only got two hands and no one to film. This is a low budget program here. All right, so I got the muffler off. Ran into another problem. The mid pipe stuck. Can't get it out of there, so I got WD-40 soaking on that for now. Might have to put this baby in the vise and see if we can get it out. But uh, let's go ahead and take the header off. 
loosen all these ones already. Make it a little bit easier. So get these out of here. These are kind of nice because they're uh, Allen Allen head bolts. So um, kind of easy easy to get off and um, less likely of stripping them out as long as you put your Allen wrench pretty as far as it'll go. Um, so yeah, we'll get those off. Get the other side here. Okay. Those are all good. Pull this header off. I might have to move the multi-purpose tool out of there. But, um, yep. Yosh header. You buy a 23, you get one of these um, with the purchase of your bike. So that's pretty cool. Cool deal from Suzuki. We'll make sure your little crush washer not stuck to the bottom of that. So, make sure it's all good in there. Yep, it's still in there. So, get the stock pipe back on and um, yeah, go from there. Keep working. All right, so we got the stock exhaust back on, full system. Uh, what I like to do is I get the header on there first, leave the header bolts on there loose. Make sure you put this clamp on, kind of slide it over here onto your header before you put the muffler on. That way you're not fighting this little area to try to get it in there. And then uh, slide the muffler on, kind of snug these two bolts up just to hold it in place to where it's going to be. And then your header is going to be kind of loose, so you just want to... Get it to a good spot, tighten up your header bolts, and then run through it one more time. Make sure you're all tight and uh, good to go. All right, so got the stock exhaust back on, plastic on. Um, still got some work to do to it, uh, oil change, uh, oil filter, and all that stuff. But uh, we're going to take a little break and uh, load the 450 up, take it over to Suzuki so we can figure out what's going on with that thing, get it back uh Score it away before we start riding it and uh, hit false neutral or blow the motor up and make it worse. So we're going to end this video here. Uh, appreciate you guys watching and uh, I'll catch you on the next one.